Our weather continues to be pretty doggone terrific. We are at the driest time of the year, and it's certainly living up to that. We'll talk about all that in a sec. Kentucky One Health weather bug camera, that's from the Lexington Center, looking across Triangle Park with the lengthening 5 o'clock shadows here. Again, just a couple of clouds that you see up there, not many, and that's going to be the case here for a while. Not much going on. Here's some extract live Doppler, and we'll continue that theme of not much going on, nor will it for a while. This week is all quiet on the western front. There's not any big weather systems coming our way, which makes rain pretty doggone sparse. Next week, fall looks to make a run at us again, but until then, enjoy the warmth. But again, it has been dry. Over the last two and a half weeks, the last 18 days, including today, we've had one day of measurable rain at the Bluegrass Airport. That is a picture of Cane Run Creek, and that's behind the TV station here. There is no Cane Run Creek. It's dry. So that gives you an idea of what's been going on here over the last couple of weeks. Not much water. And the warmth. Look at this. We're headed back up into the 80s again tomorrow through Thursday. Even when we cool down a little bit on Friday, we're still staying well above the normal, which is, I mean, it's falling quickly. We're now down into the low 70s. That's not where we are today, although Jackson and Pikeville are at 72, but Mount Sterling's at 77. So is Flemingsburg. So is Danville and Somerset and London, for that matter. Lexington, we sit at 78. What a delightful day. Only 46 on the dew point. This air is dry, which means once the sun goes down, things cool off quickly. That's why there's a little bit of a chill out there as you get your morning started. So here's the setup. Big stinking high pressure sitting there along the east coast. Not going anywhere. What it's doing is it's transporting moisture around the periphery, but we're not on the periphery. So we get to stay dry here. Meanwhile, it's snowing and snowing a lot up across parts of the northern Rockies there. Meanwhile, as we go through the day tomorrow, our weather remains tranquil. The front's easing this way. It really doesn't get to us until sometime the latter part of the week. As you see, rain assembled up there to our northwest. As we continue through Wednesday, it's still not here. So your forecast as we look at tonight. It's a clear night. It's a seasonably cool night. Overnight lows are headed down to the mid-50s. Not much wind to speak of. Your day tomorrow, it's mostly sunny. It'll be another terrific day. Late season warmth in abundance for us, highs up into the low 80s. We continue through the next five days. Well, you go to Wednesday, you're looking at a day with a couple of more clouds around, but not many, low 80s. A few more clouds on Thursday, around 80. Opening day of Keeneland. Hey, look, there's your first chance of rain <laughs> in Murphy's Law of Weather. Uh, temperatures fall into the upper side. It's not a big chance. I think most of Friday is fine. And Saturday, Sunday, the weekend looks yeah, good. Good night for football. That's the Sorry plan. Night. That's the plan. Let's hope it's a good football night. Exactly. Thanks, Bill.